Jennifer Pouchot. I'm the secretary of the board of The Painted Bride. The Painted Bride has always had a certain cachet for me because when I was growing up in the 80s and was exposed to it, it seemed like this haven of cultural diversity and openness and creativity. My mom used to come to performances and tell me about them and I think I shaped my idea of what an art organization can be like and what inspires me through The Painted Bride. When the Arts and Business Council asked me which program or which arts organization I'd like to work for after doing business on board, The Painted Bride was the first on my list. Business on Board taught me the basics of being a responsible board member. Everything from how to stick to your mission to how to look at budgets. I would have been clueless if I came into the Board of the Painted Bride without having completed the Business on Board program. Volunteering for an arts organization for me is a way of circling back to that alternative path. It allows me to connect to a community that I don't get to interact with in my everyday professional life. I've run the digital and creative team at SCI, which is a financial services agency, and I've tried to leverage as many of the relationships we have in the local Philadelphia community. Basically, I try to work the network that I have to get people excited about what the bride is doing, the mission of the bride, how we can help the community in Philadelphia, and then get them to donate their time and their specific areas of expertise to help out. We're really excited about trying to redefine how art and culture is presented and shared. We have three pillars that we're trying to focus on. One is the interactivity and the experience of the arts. Number two, we're looking at non-traditional collaborations between artists and audiences. And lastly, we really want to continue to focus on issues around economic and social justice. Really, I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the director of The Bride, Laura Raska, and her incredible dedication to the arts community of Philadelphia. And in spirit, I really have to share this award with three powerhouse women who have dedicated so much of their personal time and energy into the mission of The Bride over this past year. Joan Sloan, Harriet Rubinstein, and Gail Lopez Enriquez. These women have become a model for me of collaboration and tenacity and dedication, and I'm honored to be able to work with them. My name is Angelina Ciola. I am the Executive Creative Director at Benchworks, a healthcare advertising and marketing agency in Philadelphia. The Upper Darby Arts and Education Foundation provides enrichment programs for students in the Upper Darby School District. These enrichment programs include music, drama, theater, science and engineering, and a number of after-school clubs. The Upper Darby School District is very diverse. There are over 80 languages spoken in the school district, and despite all of the diversity and ethnic differences, there is a very strong sense of community and the Upper Darby Arts and Education Foundation is part of that and they support that sense of community. I partnered with the Upper Darby Arts and Education Foundation to help them develop a cohesive story about the organization. It's very large, there are many stakeholders, many programs that uh, are managed under that umbrella. We developed a story, we developed a messaging, positioning, and then we were able to pull that through uh, into collateral materials that the organization can now use when they have conversations with donors. Winning the award makes me feel very gratified and honored to be among people who are so committed and passionate about the arts in this region. I have to say that being involved in ABC and with the organizations I've worked with has been the highlight for me over the last few years. So it's really an accent on what's already happened and I, I'm looking forward to working with them even more in the years to come. I am personally very passionate about supporting the arts, sustaining the arts, and enhancing the arts. To be able to be part of this community and to work with others uh, who can lend their professional skill sets to nonprofit organizations is a huge honor. As a business volunteer for the arts, the opportunities that ABC has, has given me to work with these organizations has helped me a great deal. It's helped me understand that uh, sometimes with limited resources you can still achieve great things. It's also connected me to some amazing people in the arts community in Philadelphia and I feel very lucky to have known them and to and to share in their in their missions. It's really a great opportunity for me and for any professional to take the skills they use every day with different clients in different settings and then apply them in support of these very important nonprofit arts organizations.
My name is John Chianchio, Ballard Spar, partner in the Intellectual Property Group. Uh, Kyle Snowberger, Intercept Nexus, founder and CEO. So it is my um, startup company, which really has an aerospace scope focused on advancing spaceflight and reducing the cost to attain orbit. I was, at the time, an unemployed engineer. And by applying to PVLA, I managed to see an avenue for a development of a concept that can really help society and change how we tackle spaceflight in the future. I had never imagined I'd be connected with such a prominent law firm as Ballard Spar. Ballard Spar is seriously committed to pro bono work. And for me to bring a prize like that home, it's just very proud to serve the, the firm in that way. It's a very important thing to be part of society and to be able to help those who perhaps wouldn't have your help if not for these programs. I like to work with creative people and certainly the arts gives me that opportunity. It's very exciting, especially to be able to bring that to people who otherwise might not be able to afford the services that we, that we provide. This began as a dream and it was a dream that really never had a place to materialize until whenever John decided to pick up my application. He also instilled in me a greater confidence in myself that has propelled me forward. When we saw Kyle's invention, my colleague Pat Brady and I, we're both ex-aerospace engineers ourselves, we immediately saw the ingenuity and excellence of it. As a society, there are certain fundamental shifts in the paradigm that once they gain full support, they will actually improve humanity. And it's beyond a profit margin. It's beyond having just a good corporate structure. It's really about impacting society at large. I think you have to understand that inventions are not just things, especially to the inventors. They're actually dreams. And to be part of someone's dream and to help them fulfill that dream is incredibly satisfying.